On Christmas Eve, a Bemidji man died when the vehicle he was in went through the ice on Lake Bemidji. Since that time, the team at Ellis Towing was tasked with the removing of the vehicle, and it proved to be a challenging job. Reporter Emma Hudziak has the story. On December 24th, around 5.30 p.m., the Beltrami County Sheriff's Office and 911 Emergency Communications Center received a report of a vehicle going through the ice on Lake Bemidji near Diamond Point Park that resulted in the death of 69-year-old John Klassen III. We heard that the truck went in the next day or so. We got a call from the family uh, wanting us to recover the vehicle from the water where it went through the ice. At the time of the accident, the ice in that area was only four to five inches thick. The first attempt to remove the vehicle back on Wednesday was unsuccessful, and the second attempt on Thursday evening was also unsuccessful for crew members of Ellis Towing when the tow cable on the truck had snapped. It actually took three attempts to get the vehicle out. We, uh, we, broke, a, uh, we broke a cable, and then we straightened a J-hook, and then we ended up pulling the truck through the four feet of silt with a plow on it. Um, it was in about 20 feet of water, about four feet of silt, and uh, we had to lift the truck and pull straight out to get it towards, towards the shore. It wasn't until last Friday when Chris and his crew were successful in the removal of the truck. The truck was a very large truck with a plow, very heavy, um, very hard recovery when you have no good ice to work with. Um, basically it was 10 feet offshore, it starts dropping from 9 feet down into 30. And uh, the plow, the heavy diesel, and the four foot of silt made it very, very difficult to get it up and out. Chris said that he is very thankful for his team that diligently worked to get the truck out. His team included himself, his brothers, his buddy Andy, his son Tayden, his wife Lisa, and Spencer Reimer. And as a reminder, the Minnesota DNR says that ice is never 100% safe. Four to five inches of ice is recommended for walking and snowmobiling. Eight to 12 inches of ice is recommended for cars. And 12 to 15 inches of ice is recommended for any type of truck. Reporting in Bemidji, Emma Hudziak, Lakeland News. And people are being asked to respect the barricade that is currently on the ice from the removal and to watch out for the active heave that runs along Diamond Point. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.